This is MikeBot. Today is the day. My Anchor Make M5 is finally here. So this marks the beginning of my Anchor Make M5 video series. There will be many videos on this Anchor Make machine, starting with this unboxing today, followed by a setup, configuration, test prints, tweaking settings, Cura slicer, Anchor Make slicer. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. It's gonna be a lot of videos and it's gonna be incredible. So Anchor Make started, um, I would I think making batteries, chargers, little electronics here and there. I'm not big on Anchor Make yet, but I've slowly started to integrate my uh, technology uh, to include Anchor Make more. So I have headphones from them now, earbuds, I have their vacuum, the Eufy uh, X8, which I do have a video on as well. You can check my channel out for that. And I'm slowly, I'm, I'm almost on board fully with Anchor Make. It all really comes down to how well this printer performs that they're claiming is supposed to be five times faster at 250 MMS speeds versus my Ender 5 Pro, which does 100 really, but I usually print between 50 to 80. Uh, this one's supposed to be extra intelligent with AI camera. So basically what I'm really interested in is the AI technology behind Anchor Make stuff. I'm fairly impressed with their X8 uh, vacuum that they have, the RoboVac. So I'm kind of curious to see how well they did with this uh, AI. So mind you, being a Kickstarter supporter for this printer and being a first generation printer, it's probably full of bugs and issues. So by the time uh, you guys watch this video in the future or if you're a backer and you're watching it, it will be a buggy printer and I will point everything out as I go through my series. So anyway, let's just get right to it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the unboxing immediately because I'm excited to get this thing open. I did buy an extra nozzle pack and then I got a few extra supporter perks to go with this printer as well. So uh, let's get started with the unboxing. I will be using several cameras to film the unboxing and more. So you're probably gonna see many different shots once I get through the editing process. I have my Canon uh, DSLR camera, my 1080p camera and my 4K camera. I don't want to miss this shot, so I will make sure to get the best angles possible. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. It's a nicely sealed package. Hopefully it's uh, well potted in there considering that uh, it came from China. So it probably came by boat. I did not pay for the air shipping. And here's the money shot. All right, that was a bit of a mission to get the printer out of the first box, but uh, I've done so. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around the printer right now. I'll do the walk around with my 4K camera. So you'll see uh, a nice high definition shot. So here's where they're promising five times faster printing with the ultra direct extruder, power boost option, which has a powerful stepper motor double belt drive shaft, stabilized motion algorithm, aluminum alloy structure, double Z axis lead screw motors, double Z axis cross section, integrated base. All right, all interesting stuff. And then, what does it say back here? Five times faster processing, seven by seven auto leveling, easy three-step assembly, precision 0 0.1 millimeter detail, built-in AI camera monitoring, Auto create a time lapse, hub connects multiple devices, print volume is 235 by 235 by 250. It's not a large volume actually, but it is what it is. All right, now for the most important part and the part I've been waiting for for so long, the unboxing. I hope they included all my backer bonuses and all the additional stuff I purchased. Again, I bought this back in for printer is fairly heavy so 
you can probably do it on your own, but it's probably better to do it with two people. All right, this is the most important part. I will make sure to have all three cameras going for this. So here we go. I got my extra all metal hot end, the free nozzles, the nozzles I paid for. Jesus, these nozzles are very different. All the ones I have for my Creality printer aren't gonna work. The installation kit, all the screws. My bonus PLA as a backer. They gave me white, that's nice, and it's PLA plus. My sample PLA. I'll put those aside. Put the nozzles aside. And the ultra direct. There should be two build plates as well. So I'll be looking for that. There's my toolkit. Let's see what's in here. So that's actually a pretty decent toolkit. You get quite a few things and an extra nozzle in there too. The power cord. Massive quick start guide. Pull out the uh, installation hardware. This is the spool holder. Fairly nice solid metal. And then let's get down to the next layer. And then you got the actual printer itself. I don't see my second build plate, the PEI build plate, but uh, we'll see in a second. All right, let's get this big boy out. All right, here's my spare PEI sheet. I'm just gonna put the printer down somewhere gently. I can go back on there. Oops. Okay. And it's a fairly heavy plate, and that's basically it inside the box. All right. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Stay tuned for the installation setup video coming soon. Uh, so basically, I'll just go over everything. So you got the uh, base of the printer, uh, the printer with uh, the stepper motors uh, right here. I'll point with this camera. You got the, I got my bonus PLA with it, uh, my sample PLA, bonus PLA, direct drive, uh, sorry, all metal hot end, extra build plate, my extra nozzles I paid for, plus the bonus nozzles, tool kit, spool holder, Pretty nice, neat package. So stay tuned for part two, which is going to be setting up the printer. It's supposed to be an easy three-step installation, so that video should be uh, maybe a five, ten-minute video tops. Uh, thank you all for watching the unboxing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for part one, unboxing the Anchormake M5. Mike Bot out.